Good morning, and we are the Richards. The Richards. This morning, I thought I'd come to you guys to see us get ready for one of our infamous HRA well, appointments. We kinda, we, the ones that work. We kind of already business. ready. We just, you know, we about to get Day, out of here. And remind you, today is Thursday, February 13th, and... This is paycheck money. They don't care. They come to the appointment. To you got to come. You got to come. You got to come. You see me to the floor. You got to come. So you can see babe is right there. He get ready. He's late as usual. Me, personally, I'm the one that's ready to go. I mean, it's honestly because I don't have no lashes or anything. I'm going to an HRA appointment. I got my little A curls out. Bam. And ladies, this is no product. This is just water. I promise you. It's just water. I'll do a hair tutorial if you like. Now, I had gotten the comments to see a day in the life. Well, here's a day in the life of in the shelter. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. You ready, babe? Come on. I'm waiting for you. You ain't even put your coat on. This is what I mean. He's worse than a female. I have my, my scarf on, my hat. I have my hoodie because it's currently... If you're from New York City, right now it is 36 degrees out. It's brrrr, not occur. So, let's watch him. Gotta watch me, I'm getting ready. You gotta watch me. Watch me, watch TV. They watching TV. Don't they watching watch YouTube watch TV. YouTube TV. YouTube, YouTube TV. I think you look very nice. Put this away? The cats, you guys behave yourself while we're gone. Don't fight each other. Behave yourself, Lucky. Say hi to everybody. They never really see you. Say hi, I'm Lucky. Should I bring a water or something? No, you can buy water when you're out on the street. Buy charms. You're too busy eating. Mommy's leaving, okay? I'll see you later, boy. Give me a kiss. He like, the food is here. You think I'm going to choose you over the food? <laughs> Please. Again, he's still here waiting. Let's go, babe. We're late. Let's late. I have the key. We're turning out the light. Even though we don't pay electricity, we're being courteous. Turn out your lights when you leave. Let's go. We're going to show you what it's like to leave the shelter system to go take care of business. Room look good just in case if them crackers come in. Clean out the ashtray, of course. Let's go. We're out the way. We're done. We're done. He's like a female. He never wants to leave. Come on, because I don't want to get anybody else on the camera. So come on. Let's go. I can always... Okay, we are back. We're going down the steps now. We live on the cur third floor currently. There are five floors in this building. I don't know if I'm allowed to say that. It's the city of New York. But you go down the steps like this. I flip the camera so you can see. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Okay. It's okay. Hey, Good morning. How are you? I'm blessed. How are you? Doing? What's up, man? Good morning. Go down these steps. Security door. And then the regular door that just says, come on in. It looks like it's raining outside. Where's, yes. where's the address I'm that we so have to go it's to? It's not raining right now. Y'all don't understand. Like Every day it'd be raining. It's sucky. It's and then sucky. it's cold on top of that. Garbage. What's, what's the address, at least? Give me the number so I know. Give me a second. I gotta look at my phone. Okay. So we are on the Bronx Street. Currently, we live in the Bronx. We're not going to act like we're from the Bronx. We just literally moved here once we got into the shelter system. We're from Queens, and then from Queens, we went to Brooklyn, and then from Brooklyn, we went to the Bronx. So this is our area in the Bronx. But we from everywhere. We from all over. Uptown, downtown, all around town. We from everywhere. So... 
paid in full. If you heard that, we need a 30% cut. 30%. We so basically, like I said, we have to head to our housing appointment. And we're the type of individuals that they say be there at 8 o'clock. We're there at 6 because everybody and their mother is there. And I'm not trying to hit no baby and her lady and her stroller. I would like, you know, and then cops and that's just how the rule goes. Here's the street. Which, which way, babe? I'm following you. I'm following you. You're my director. You're my GPA maps. Even though he can never get us nowhere. It's always me. I'm the one that with directions. I'm good with directions sometimes. Don't the look. white man is up. We can walk. I'm good. We are walking. So the Ill. white man is up. You know, we should start taking the marker and making the missions black. Huh? He said take the white man, the ones that's up here. The walking white man and make them black. Nobody else seen them. We all be dead. Ah. So anyways, like I was saying, how did Chad really met me? He literally met me, like I said, the day. Well, the, hold the camera, baby, because you're taller than me. Literally. Hold the back piece. I got it. He literally met me in Rosedale, Queens. I was living with my grandmother in her house, and he was living with his aunt Stacy. And I was literally walking to work. And he was literally late to work, walking <laughs> yeah. to the cab stand, and, and he literally stopped. I stopped her. I said, I said um, something Damn of the order. sort. I said something of the sort like, uh, uh, you shouldn't be smoking that. Give me that cigarette, girl. What you doing smoking that cigarette? And already in my head, uh, I was like, this broke nigga asking me <laughs> for a cigarette. He got to go. Uh-uh. Nah, uh -uh. nah uh -uh. she thinking I'm some young nigga or some shit like that. You were. She thinking, oh, no, I wasn't. I was you were 21 nigga. when I met you. Well, anyway. Turning 22 when I met you. Well, anyway, I, I, I was going to let her keep walking. Then I said, oh, no, uh-uh. I can't do it. Fuck it. He was like, that ass too fat. Because <laughs> like I said, yeah. going through what we've been going through, I've lost over 100 yeah, like, pounds, like damn near. Weight. I was 155. Sexy. Now I'm exactly 110. Thank you, baby. Still fun as hell. Now tell the story. Keep telling. Now, um, yeah, this so I ran up, you know, it. I ran, I chased her back down. I ran on and, um, he took you my know, number. we spoke for a few seconds, for a few minutes. And, um, I took her number and I texted her once I got to work. And I promise you, you know how people be like, yeah, it was love at first sight. I promise you the day that he took my number, we have never parted ways that and was that it. was august 26 2012 and here it is february 13th 2020 when i say i've literally yeah. seen the devil himself and come back with this man i have yeah. so yeah, it's incredible to go through a, a life and i don't know if you ladies can see gentlemen you can see i have this scar on my nose yeah. right here Especially now that the light is it's here. It's going away though. That ain't nothing. I'm just showing it to them because it's been this is going to be my domestic like, violence story. Because before I met you, this was my life. And I, I feel like I owe it to them, I you know? know. But fuck that. Fuck that nigga. Back to our morning routine. Yeah. Well, not our morning routine. I'll come spend the day with us, okay? So yeah. right now, we're currently on the way to our housing appointment. What we'll do, we're almost there is... I'll pause the video. Like I said, yeah, I'm getting edit. I'm getting used stuff. to this editing because I'm not gonna act like you're gonna see that my face popping out uh -huh. and fireworks and me doing flips and uh -huh. I'm in the back of the video and doing. No, nah, we ain't doing all uh -huh. that. <laughs> look, look, look. We ain't doing all Give me that. a couple of months, okay? Yeah. Cause I'm smart. Uh -huh. All right. Um, like I said we before, our ages. I'm 34 years old. Chad yeah, is. 31. Yes, like I said. I was born and really? raised in Queens. He was born and raised in Hempstead, New York. 21? We've been together since the day we actually met. The day we actually met in August. It was never like, oh, hey, you want to be my boyfriend? You want to be my girlfriend? We just started talking. Yeah. And like I said, I put him on the 90-day rule. And November 26th is the day I gave you my body and my soul. And... It's it's Atlantic that's City. just been it. That's she our love me story. Some, uh, she she ordered me some strawberries and champagne. 
Yeah, I we had room it. service. For the first time. That was the first I took, time I, I took a grown woman. Like That's that. how you knew he was a young boy. But, I had to whip him in the shape. Whip him. Yeah. Took him to Atlantic yeah, City. Fun. We lost our virginity. That was the first time having sex, yeah, giving fun. head, excuse my language, literally doing everything. The furthest that we've went before the 90 days, the only thing we've ever done was kiss on the mouth and barely, barely French yeah. kiss. It was nothing sexual. Uh -huh. Like, it was a lot of blue balls yeah. going on. It was a lot of this. Oh, you uh -huh. going home tonight? Uh -huh. Why you got to spend the night yeah. and all of that? We had but, fun, though. It was beautiful, and you know what? I got to know him first for who he is. So, ladies, do not be in a rush to get the same penis that yeah. you're going to get for the rest of your life. Yeah. Make sure it's circumcised. I mean, yeah. um, make sure it's the one yeah. you want, and just love each other. Like I said, we're headed yeah. into our appointment. We're going to continue our day with yeah. you guys. We and don't let this thing go. We're not perfect. We're not no perfect couple like you know oh, like with our, love, people, our love story so beautiful we are normal what people, i wanted to cut this man this morning she, she, you know this morning i, I wanted to cut him 50 this morning if man, it for wasn't real. for was, the lord yo, jesus I almost caught a buck 50 this morning thank man. you lord you jesus know, i almost caught a buck 50 this morning yeah you know it's, it's real it's, it's, especially it's when real. you're in a situation that but tests your limits i don't care though we're in a situation that it's tests our limits but you know what he, he almost got a buck 50. I almost got choked. But guess what? We're here together. Smiles on our face. Yeah. Do what we got to do because perseverance is key. Perseverance Winning is, is key. key. Okay? Being down, right. you don't got to be down. You, you just down. It's yeah. a state of mind that makes it matter. Right. So with that being said, we'll continue our day in the life yep. of the Shunt. Bronx Shunter couple. The Bronx Shunter couple. We'll see you guys later. We love you guys. Peace. Peace. Hey everybody, we back. Oops. Sorry, I keep forgetting he's a part of this. Hey, we back everybody. The place is closed, of course. We wait, City man. of New York. They don't do nothing See, on time. Hold the camera, baby. So we decided why not come out here and have a little <sighs> Remember, if you don't while like this waiting. remember if you don't like to smoke weed, please. We don't need to hear that. Hey baby, let me see something real quick. You ain't gotta watch the channel. Yeah. I hope you can anyway. I hope you can see us appropriately, guys. Like I said, well my husband is so damn tall, it's so awkward trying to record with him. It. I'm put it like this. Man. I got you. Trust me. That's why you married me. So like I was saying, right. um, no, I wasn't saying that. No oh, fight. yeah, I know y'all probably like, why y'all got on no gloves? Y'all ain't no surgeons. We do this so that when we go into any type of establishment that's professional, we never smell like weed. We never smell like cigarettes or anything like that. So I don't like smell. Better like, safe than like, sorry. That's, whack. that's corny. Sorry, so you guys can see when, my face. When we had the car and shit, we'd be in that motherfucker shirtless. Yeah. So um, getting back to some more questions, like you were saying, um, we met. And I kid you not, three months later, we were living together. We were in my mother's house after he had left his aunt's house because of some friction there. Yeah. And I left my grandmother's. There was no friction there. I just said to myself, this man I just met, he's having some issues. I'm gotta, I got to do what I, I got to do. Like you came to my house in a Mustang full of your shit. Yeah. That's an issue to me. It was kind of crazy. Like so that. I called my mother and I was like, Mom, I met this really great Bro, guy. Thank you for that, though. I met this really great guy. I've only known him for a few uh, few minutes, and he really needs a place to stay. And my mother said, come on. And I left my grandmother's house October 30th, and I've never looked back. Until, looked back. believe it or not, until the day February 7, 2014 came when we got married. At this time, we were staying at our apartment. We were doing okay, and we started getting rats. The lady wasn't putting no heat on. Yeah, so we, we called crazy. New yeah, York City crazy. Housing, and this bitch got us put out. Yeah. So she was like, here, take your security deposit. You're causing too much trouble. You didn't know what? She was having an illegal apartment. That's why she was like, here, take your money yeah, and go. Really. So we literally had apartment. no place to go, so we packed up yeah. everything. We packed up our dog, and once again, it was just packed us and all our time. shit. Yeah. We had the dog That's in it. the back seat, and we was like, yeah, where we going to go? And next thing I remember, we was on his father's couch. And how how did that morning go when we your father saw us laying on the couch? Ah, uh, he was uh 
he puff, wasn't puff pass. He wasn't pissed. Sharing is caring. But he walked past kind of like, you know, like, oh, like, what y'all doing here, you know? I thought y'all had your own spot. I thought y'all had your, well, you know, what you doing here? Like, what y'all doing here? And you at know? this time, if I may say, we were not married. We were just boyfriend and girlfriend just shacking up. Yeah, so... Um, I had met his mother. He had met my mother. He had met my family. That's why he was able to come stay with my mother with no issues. She knew he was a great guy. She knew he was nothing like my ex, and I was okay. That's why she felt safe with her daughters. Right. You know, being there. Right, yeah. I was raised by my grandparents, so I got, you know what I'm saying? I got respect. I got manners, all of that. I'm not rude or disrespectful. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. We got to do the typical Facebook like thing. That. Check out the outfit of the day. My husband. Uh, the outfit of the day. He, he, he okay, got on the North Face so. right here. Come, come, look closer. I he got on the regular so. North Face right here. He got on my Victoria's Seek pink bag because he did get some man messenger bag nah, with the matching hoodie. Right and then he got the matching, um, they're not jeans, I, but they're like the jeggings for men. And, and show your feet, baby. If you can't get up there, if not, I'll, I'll zoom the camera down. I just got some regular black up there. Show them the fresh feet. Show them the Pradas. I just got some regular. Show, show them the Gucci's. Just some regular black up there. Okay. okay. All right. Cool, 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 cool. You know how we got to do the outfit of the day. That's okay. My, my wife got me this, you know, outfit for of the day. first. She got me those. And That's, me. You know. I got on a typical Michael Kors. You understand? <laughs> I go down underneath. I don't want to get too fresh on y'all. I don't want to get too fresh. Hold a camera. Hold a flash. All right, paparazzi. All right, all right, all right. All right. All right. I'm just showing them the outfit. I got on the regular crazy. pink, and then I got on the regular pink pants. Crazy. The regular pink, I ain't going to show y'all like that. And I got on the regular pants. Oh, pair you didn't do the like same this. thing for you? No, nah, we good. You didn't do the same thing for her. Bomb outfit of the day. Got the pink sweats. Well, her, uh, got on well, the fresh uh, Uggs. On. Just in case, just in case anybody, uh, promoters, uh, anybody want to do, I wear a size yeah, three and a half. And My husband wear a nine uh, and a half. Just I don't in wear case. a nine and a half. I wear a ten and a half. Ah, uh, damn, that's that other nigga named Tyrone. I'm bad. My bad. No, I'm playing. So, anyways, <laughs> yeah. we had to show y'all the outfit of the day. You know, it wouldn't be a typical YouTube video if you ain't see the outfit of the day. You know. Yeah. <laughs> but anyways, on that. And back to the story, we, just, we stayed we with my mom and stayed with my mom. It was like hell on earth. We were in the living room, and I promise you, it was like yeah, it was, we had I no mean, privacy. Not yeah, a, not no just privacy, saying that everything like, was about oh, you gotta have sex every five seconds. Nah, it was like right. it you was wake up like, in the morning, my mother wanna fucking use her juicer at not, five a.m. No, like, yeah, at five a.m. in the morning, you hear the vroom, blender, vroom. and we right there. Mind you, everybody got their door closed, don't hear shit, and we in the living room like this. Vroom, and we got to go to work in a couple of minutes and it's not yeah. like and it's not like it's your house your rules but it's at the end of the day how about a little bit of consideration you know this is all we got we laying on the floor waking up waking up feeling like this and shit so it's like we had to get out of there yeah. so then we got another apartment on flatlands avenue in, um, in Brooklyn. Um, Brooklyn and that in, turned uh, out to Kanashi. be shit another basement apartment another and when I say that apartment. they made the last apartment with the rats look bad they made them look bad like that's the spot where I she had was a talking run about ran where, across my face where, like this that's the spot where she was talking about where they was like cooking in the in the cooking in the micro in no the, uh, that was on oven. Flatlands that was on, on Hendrick Street with this, with the oh, Indian well, lady. Hendrick Street. This well, is with the Haitian ways. people. Oh, no disrespect Hendrick to the Haitians. Okay. Y'all cool people. We love y'all. We love y'all. We love Stop all I people. Say what? Please. I love my Stop Haitians. I, say. I love my Haitians. You got the lighter? Damn, nigga, you always got the lighter. You and it be, I be the one that buy. It be, I be the one that buy it. You got your own Exactly. Lighter. You got the lighter right here. My so, lighter. mind you, keep the short story. We we moved in there, and the rats was just overwhelming. After I had a rat run across my face like this. I, yeah, called, was I, I, I was sitting in the that chair for 10 hours. I was like, honey, I couldn't move. I couldn't do nothing. We yeah, had to get about it there. So once again, we packed up all our shit, put it in the bag, no place to go. Yeah. But then my husband had just happened to find a trailer. So the people were nice enough to transport our stuff to the trailer because it was in close proximity. Hey. And um, wake up. And we was close enough to it, so we was able to move everything into the trailer. And we moved in, lived into the trailer up until September, October 30th of 2000. 16. I don't remember.
And right. after October 16th, we moved in with Harold Hayward. He had an apartment. He had electricity. He had running water. So it was a godsend to us. Oh, man. We had him taken a, a shower. Peace, we baby. brushed our we teeth. You and I love you. Little things like not being able to wash. People take for granted washing your teeth. People take for Peaches granted brushing going their to teeth. the bed. No, take people granted. take for granted going washing to the toilet, ass. washing, and then flushing what? the toilet. We never knew how important it yeah, was. So much stuff people take for granted. It was. We never knew how important it was to have water to brush your teeth, to wash your ass. We never knew how important it was to have right. electricity just to charge your cell phone. Right. We we never knew how, just taking a bath, just waking uh, up being right. warm. Like I said, we used to wake up and it was like that, sleeping in your clothes, ready for the yeah. next day, and that. That makes you strong, yeah. but not in a good type of strong. It makes you strong, it makes a you good strong and a bad too. strong. And then on top of that, you spending all your money on everything. You got to try to hop on a train, so you risk getting locked up. I know y'all like, damn, y'all ain't yeah. got no money for nothing. Listen, yeah. when you living on the street, money go to everything else. Everything. We can't be out here everything. looking fucked up. We got to go to work every day. Yep. Yeah. You understand? But we make it work, though. We make know? it work. We make it work. We ain't Definitely. never asked for a handout ever. Ever, ever, ever. We've and now given, we got we've given more than we've gotten. Too, so that really give us a boost. But now that we got some real people, we, some de- real, yo, y'all we got some real G's, we're we going to find a name for y'all. It up, it's for unfortunate real. our name is Richards you know, even because... I stay boosted up, but y'all got me boosted And we're trying to find a name for y'all. Everybody's last name is Richards, but our last name legally is Richards. We don't want to call y'all the rich gang, rich family, or nothing like that. So y'all come up with some names and we'll make it personal. We're trying to grow, you know what I'm saying? For every video, for every view, YouTube has a thing. You have to have a thousand subscribers to make it. We can't even make a channel banner without a thousand subscribers. So we want to promote and showcase and show you guys the best that we can offer what what we have, but it's so limited because of what we have. But But we're going to make it work. We're making it work. work. Yo, we 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 fly. We fly right now. We we, (laughs) We chilling, we chilling. We the riches, baby. We chilling, we, man. We the riches, baby. You know we chilling, man. We eat Vienna sausages we like chillin'. they cornflakes. Nah, I'm playing. I don't. I ain't never ate a Vienna sausage in my yeah, life. I ain't lying. <laughs> But, but anyway, yeah, sorry to joke up. like that, yeah, but uh, just joking. the the, the, so, the place should so be open joke. now. We're going to come back to you guys again with the continuation yeah. of our day. We hope you right. enjoyed it. Please excuse my husband. He gets zooted and forget that he's on national YouTube, okay? Oh, yeah. We I love you so. guys, yeah, and we are the YouTube. Richards, and we are out. Right. Peace. Hey, y'all, we back. And guess what? Waste of time. I'm mad right now. That's the only thing I hate. When a city set up an apartment for you, they expect you to just take it and run. This shit, a rat walked up to me and was like, yo, sis, what up? You got 10 on it? I'm out. Look, daddy like. I said, I needed some coffee. Half and half? Nope. No half and half? No coffee. So anyways, that pissed me off. So again, we back. We know we boring as hell. We ain't got nothing going on. He's took the day off. I took the day off. Well, actually, I had a couple of days off because I had to go get my tooth fixed. So uh, we're going to talk about that, whatever. But yeah, daddy right here. Where you at, daddy? Right here, yeah, so what we about to do right now? We pissed off. So <sighs> we're going to oh, go man. and get something like, to eat. It's, it's sad, man. We're going to treat ourselves to something to it's eat. Sad, Once like, in a while, hold the camera because some, you hold the camera. Why even send somebody to see something like that? Like, that's sad, man. Because they say, you know you what? Know, they black. They need something. The next time we're going to show y'all watch and y'all going to see. You we know, it was about, just a lot we going on. We wasn't allowed so. to bring the cameras in yeah. this time. Next time we gonna sneak that shit Next in because watch, listen, if a rat welcomed me at the door, how the hell like, you gonna tell whoa. me about a camera? Yeah, that nigga had on motherfucking iPhone. Right, he had an iPhone <laughs> 11 at that. <laughs> right, right. But you know, we left our information and stuff like that. So which was fake? Because don't ever because reach it's us. It's like a different broker every time. It's always like a different lady. So what we trying group. to do now 
So Spread the word. If anybody is in the New York City area, we are looking for a broker. And we can say this online. We are looking for a broker. We're and the broker's broker, fee yeah. that we are allowed to pay out is up to $3,000. Right. If you secure us a one-bedroom apartment that a pass state requirements right. you will get three thousand right. dollars real estate agents brokers right. new york city area we would like to live bronx right. area because he mainly works out here i'll change uh, yeah, bronx, bronx area manhattan we harlem don't come at me with no staten island don't no. come at me with no queens no. born and raised in queens and i gotta wait for a bus right. even right. with a car living in queens you need hella gas right. money right. so this is the area we prefer to live in thank you so much so now what we do we often go get so something to eat program, so yeah. when we get some place to eat we'll holler at you guys in a second um, holla okay Hey y'all, we back. And guess what? Waste of time. I'm mad right now. That's the only thing I hate. When a city set up an apartment for you, they expect you to just take it and run. This shit, a rat walked up to me and was like, yo, sis, what up? You got 10 on it? I'm out. Look, daddy like, I said I needed some coffee. Half and half? No. No half and half? No coffee. So anyways, that pissed me off. So again, we back. We know we boring as hell. We ain't got nothing going on. He took the day off. I took the day off. Well, actually, I had a couple of days off because I had to go get my tooth fixed. So uh, we're going to talk about that, whatever. But yeah, daddy right here. Where you at, daddy? Right here, yeah, so what we about to do right now, we pissed off. So, <sighs> we gonna oh, go man. and get something like, to eat. It's, it's sad, man. We gonna treat ourselves to something to it's eat. Sad, Once like, in a while, hold the camera because some, you, hold the camera. Why even send somebody to see something like that? Like, that's sad, man. Because they say, you know you what? Know, they black, they need something. The next time, we gonna show y'all, watch, and y'all gonna see. You we know, it was just a lot going on. We wasn't allowed so. to bring the cameras in yeah. this time. Next time we gonna sneak that shit Next in because watch, listen, if a rat welcome me at the door, how the hell like, you gonna tell whoa. me about a camera? Yeah, that nigga had a motherfucking iPhone. Right, he had an iPhone <laughs> 11 at that. <laughs> right, right. But you know, we left our information and stuff like that. So which was fake because don't ever because reach it's us. It's like a different broker every time. It's always like a different lady. So what we trying group. to do now? So. Spread the word. If anybody is in the New York City area, we are looking for a broker. And we can say this online. We are looking for a broker. We're and the broker's broker, fee yeah. that we are allowed to pay out is up to $3,000. Right. If you secure us a one-bedroom apartment that a past state requirements, right. you will get $3,000. Right. Real estate agents, brokers, right. New York City area, we would like to live Bronx. Right. Area because he mainly works out here. I'll change. Uh, yeah, we want Bronx, to be in the Bronx area, Manhattan, we Harlem. Be in the Bronx. Don't come at me with no Staten Island. Don't no. come at me with no Queens. We, Born and raised in Queens. And I gotta wait for a bus. Right. Even right. with a car living in Queens, you need hella gas right. money. Right. So this is the area we prefer to live in. Thank you so much. So now what we do, we often go get so something to eat. Program, so yeah. when we get someplace to eat, we'll holler at you guys in a second. Um, holla. Okay. Hey everybody, we back. Oops. Sorry, I keep forgetting he's a part of this. Hey, we back everybody. The place is closed, of course. We wait, City man. of New York. They don't do nothing See, on time. Hold the camera, baby. So we decided why not come out here and have a little <sighs> Remember, if you don't while like to waiting. remember if you don't like to smoke weed, please. We don't need to hear that. Hey baby, let me see something real quick. You ain't gotta watch the channel. Yeah. I hope you can. Anyway. I hope you can see us appropriately, guys. Like I said, well, my husband is so damn tall. It's so awkward trying to record oh, with him. I'm gonna put it like this. I got you. Trust me. That's why you married me. So, like I was saying, um. No, I wasn't saying that. No oh, fight. yeah, I know y'all probably like, why y'all got on no gloves? Y'all ain't no surgeons. We do this so that when we go into any type of establishment that's professional, we never smell like weed. We never smell like cigarettes or anything like that. So I don't like smelling like, come safe on, than like sorry. that's whack. That's corny. Sorry, so you guys can see when, my face. When we had the car and shit, we'd be in that motherfucker shirtless. Yeah. 
So, um, getting back to some more questions, like you were saying, um, we met, and I kid you not, three months later, we were living together. We were in my mother's house after he had left his aunt's house because of some friction there, yeah. and I left my grandmother's. There was no friction there. I just said to myself, this man I just met, he's having some issues. I'm gotta, I got to do what I, I got to do. Like that, you came crazy. to my house in a Mustang full of your shit. Yeah. That's an issue to me. It was kind of crazy. Like so that. I called my mother, and I was like, Mom, I met this really great Bro, guy. Thank you for that, though. I met yeah. this really great guy. I've only known him for a few uh, few minutes, and he really needs a place to stay. And my mother said, come on. And I left my grandmother's house October 30th, and I've never looked back. Until, looked back. believe it or not, until the day February 7th, 2014 came, when we got married. At this time, we were staying at our apartment. We were doing okay, and we started getting rats. The lady wasn't putting no heat on, yeah, so we we crazy. called yeah, New York City was... Housing, and this bitch got us put out. Yeah. So she was like, "Here, take your security deposit. You causing too much trouble. You didn't know what she was having an illegal apartment. That's why she was like, "Here, take your money yeah, and go." Really. So we literally had apartment. no place to go. So we packed up yeah. everything. We packed up our dog, and once again, it was just packed us and all our time. shit. Yeah. We had the dog see. in the back seat, and we was like, "Yeah, where we gonna go?" And next thing I remember, we was on his father's couch. And how how did that morning go when we your father saw us laying on the couch? Ah, uh, he was uh, he Puff, wasn't Puff pass. He wasn't pissed. Sharing is caring. But he walked past, kind of like you know, like oh, uh, like what y'all doing here? You know. I thought y'all had your own spot. I thought y'all had your, well, you know, what you doing here? Like what y'all doing here? And you at know? this time, if I may say, we were not married. We were just boyfriend and girlfriend, just shacking up. Yeah, so... Um, I had met his mother, he had met my mother, he had met my family. That's why he was able to come stay with my mother with no issues. She knew he was a great guy. She knew he was nothing like my ex, and I was okay. That's why she felt safe with her daughters. Right. You know, being there. Right, yeah. I was raised by my grandparents, so I got, you know what I'm saying? I got respect, I got manners, all of that. I'm not rude or disrespectful oh yeah 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 sorry we got to do the typical facebook like thing that. check out the outfit of the day my husband uh, the outfit he, of the day he, he okay, got on the I north face so. right here a little closer I he got on the regular so. north face right here he got on my victoria seek pink bag because he think it's a man messenger bag uh, with the matching hoodie right and then he got the matching um they're not jeans I, but they're like the jeggings for men and, and show your feet baby if you can't get up there, if not, I'll, I'll zoom the camera down. I just got some regular black up there. Show them the fresh feet. Show them the Pradas. I just got some regular. Show, show them the Gucci's. Just some regular black up there. Okay. okay. All right. Cool, 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 cool. You know how we got to do the outfit of the day. That's okay. My, my wife got me this, you know, outfit for of the day. first. She got me those. And That's, me, you know. I got on typical Michael Kors, you understand? <laughs> I go down underneath. I don't want to get too fresh on y'all. I don't want to get too fresh. Hold a camera, hold a flash. It's all right, good, paparazzi. It's all it's right, all right, all right. I'm just showing them the outfit. I got on the regular crazy. pink, and then I got on the regular pink pants. Crazy. The regular pink, I ain't going to show you I like that. And I got on the regular pants. Oh, pin you didn't do the like same this. thing for you? No, nah, we good. You didn't do the same thing for her. Bomb outfit of the day. Got the pink sweats. Well, her, uh, got on well, the fresh uh, uh, Just in case, just in case anybody, uh, promoters, uh, uh, anybody want to do, I wear a size yeah, three and a half. And My husband wear a nine and a half. Just I don't in wear case. a nine and a half. I wear a ten and a half. Ah, uh, damn, that's that other nigga named Tyrone. I'm bad. My bad. No, I'm playing. So, anyways, yeah. we had to show y'all the outfit of the day. You know, it would be a typical YouTube video if you ain't seen the outfit of the day. You know. Yeah. <laughs> but anyways, on that. And back to the story, just, we stayed with my mom and stayed with my mom. It was like hell on earth. We were in the living room, and I promise you, it was like yeah, it was, we had I no mean, privacy. Not yeah, a, not no just privacy, saying that everything like, was about oh, you gotta have sex every five seconds. Nah, it was like right, it was you wake up like, in the morning, my mother wanna fucking use her juicer at nah, five a.m. You know, like, yeah, at five a.m. in the morning, you hear the vroom, blender, vroom. and we right there. Mind you, everybody got their door closed, don't hear shit, and we in the living room like this. Vroom, and we got to go to work in a couple of minutes and it's not no. like and it's not like it's your house your rules but it's at the end of the day how about a little bit of consideration you know this is all we got we laying on the floor waking up waking up feeling like this and shit so it's like we had to get out of there yeah. so then we got another apartment on flatlands avenue 
in um, and, Brooklyn, um, Brooklyn, and that and, turned um, out to Canarsie. be shit. Another basement apartment. That was another and when I say apartment. that they made the last apartment with the rats look bad, they made them look bad. Like that's the spot where I she had was a talk run ran where, across my face where, like this. That's the spot where she was talking about where they was like cooking in the in the cooking in the micro. In no, the, uh, that in was the on oven. Flatlands. That was on, on Hendrick Street. With this, with the oh, Indian well, lady. Hendrick Street. This well, is with Flatlands. the Haitian people. Oh, no disrespect Hendrick to the Street. Haitians. Okay. Y'all cool people. We love y'all. We love y'all. We love Stop all I people. Say. What? Please. I love my Stop Haitians. I, say. I love my Haitians. You got the lighter? Damn, nigga, you always got the lighter. You and it be, I be the one that buy. It be, I be the one that buy it. You got your own Exactly. Lighter. You got the lighter right here. My so, lighter. mind you, keep the short story. We we moved in there and the rats was just overwhelming. After I had a rat run across my face like this. I, yeah, called, was I, I, I was sitting in the that chair for 10 hours. I was like, honey, I couldn't move. I couldn't do nothing. We yeah, had to get about it in. So once again, we packed up all our shit, put it in the bag, no place to go. Yeah. But then my husband had just happened to find a trailer. So the people were nice enough to transport our stuff to the trailer because it was in close proximity. Hey. And um, wake up. And we was close enough to it, so we was able to move everything into the trailer. And we moved in, lived into the trailer up until September, October 30th of 2002. 16 and after october 16th we moved in with harold Hayward. he had an apartment he had electricity he had running water so it was a godsend to us oh man we hadn't taken a a shower we brushed our teeth little things like not being able to wash people take for granted washing your teeth people take for granted going to the no people take for granted going to the toilet washing and then flushing the toilet we never knew how important it yeah, was. So much stuff people take for granted. It was. We never knew how important it was to have water to brush your teeth, to wash your ass. We never knew how important it was to have right. electricity just to charge your cell phone. Right. We we never knew how, just taking a bath, just waking uh, up being right. warm. Like I said, we used to wake up and it was like that, sleeping in your clothes, ready for the yeah. next day, and that. That makes you strong, yeah. but not in a good type of strong. It makes you strong, make a you good strong and a bad too. strong. And then on top of that, you spending all your money on everything. You got to try to hop on a train, so you risk getting it locked up. I know y'all like, damn, y'all ain't yeah. got no money for nothing. Listen, yeah. when you living on the street, money go to everything else. Everything. We can't be out here everything. looking fucked up. We got to go to work every day. Yep. Yeah. You understand? But we make it work, though. We make know? it work. We make it work. We ain't Definitely. never asked for a handout ever. Ever, ever, ever. We've and now given, we got we've given more than we've gotten. Too, so that really give us a boost. But now that we got some real people, we, some de- real, yo, y'all we got some real G's, we're we going to find a name for y'all. It for it's unfortunate real. our name is Richards you know, even because... Even boosted up, but y'all got me boosted And we're trying to find a name for y'all. Everybody's last name is Richards, but our last name legally is Richards. We don't want to call y'all the rich gang, rich family, or nothing like that. So y'all come game, up with some names game, and you know, we'll make it personal. We're trying to grow, right. you know what I'm saying? For every video, for every view, YouTube has a thing. You have to have a thousand subscribers to right. make it. You can, we can't even make a channel banner without a thousand subscribers. Right. So we want to promote and showcase and show you guys the best that we can offer what, what we have, but right. it's so limited because of what we have. But, but we're going to make it work. We're making it work. work. Yo, right. we, we fly. <laughs> we fly right now. Right, we, right. <laughs> We chilling, we chilling. We the riches, baby. We chilling, we, man. We the riches, baby. You know we chilling, man. We eat Vienna sausages we like chillin'. they cornflakes. Nah, I'm playing. I don't. I ain't never ate a Vienna sausage in my right, life. I ain't lying. <laughs> But, but anyway, yeah, sorry to joke up. like that, yeah, but um, just joking. the the, the, so, the place should so be open joke. now. We're going to come back to you guys again with the continuation yeah. of our day. We hope you right. enjoyed it. Please excuse my husband. He gets zooted and forget that he's on national YouTube, okay? Oh, yeah. We I love you so. guys, yeah, and we are the Richards, and we are out. Word. Peace. Okay, we are here. <laughs> Jacket. Thank you. Stella. That's not for me, that's for my husband. That's not nice, that's not fun. She let my jacket fall on the floor. Why, wow, sir? So? Yeah, hello. Hello. She let my jacket fall on the floor. So. I'll come here. Uh, little rock. Feel salty.
I like to eat. I got like Spanish, Jamaican, American. My husband, he is Cuban, Philippine, Spanish, I'm Puerto black, Rican, Puerto. and I think he got some black somewhere in there. I'm black, Puerto Rican, and Cuban. That's it. And, and my great grandfather was from the Philippines. So I guess I got Philippine in me. I got chicken. Con pollo. Mm -hmm. You didn't say anything. You didn't say anything. They both taste good to me. You have to smoke a blunt, and then whatever you eat afterwards tastes like. It never tasted in the first place. What is this? That ain't corn. <laughs> so, after this, since it's so early and we wasted our time, and my husband is off and I'm off together, which is very rare, we're going to go home and make some babies. <coughs> so I'm just joking. We're going to go home and clean up and um, brainstorm. And we're just going to show you what it's like to have an average day in a place that offers you nothing to do. And you got to make your own fun and happiness. So we're going to go ahead and finish eating our pastelas. And we'll get back to you guys. You want to say anything to the people before we leave out? Um, thank you for subscribing. And, um, we'll talk to you all probably in a little while. You know? Yeah. Right now, we're just chilling. We just stopped at the store real quick. Um, treated ourselves to breakfast. Our way back. We usually don't do this. Not though. really treated us. So we just came and got quick pastelas real quick. Just come chill and talk to y'all. Um, that's it. I'm, uh, I'm suited and booted right now. I'm ready to just go home and relax. Day off. Just chill out. So, when I know, we'll see when we get home. Okay, so I decided to come to you guys by myself, hubby in the back. I said to myself, I ain't had no coffee all day. <laughs> so I'm on my way to go get my coffee. No, I ain't going to Dunkin' Donuts. No, I ain't going to Starbucks. No, I ain't going to Fufu Ale Cafe. I am going to Ahmed Hu <laughs> Hu to go get me a regular coffee with a half and half. Excuse my tooth. You know what, if I'ma be real with y'all, I'ma be real with y'all. I'm missing a tooth right here. And I have a replacement. Like I said, I was in an abusive relationship. And when somebody say they gonna kill you, they gonna kill you, that man almost killed me. My nose, my tooth, and I showed you my leg. If you would like to hear a story time on an abusive relationship, please, in the comments, let me know, because it takes everything of me to show you this right here. I'm a very vain, vain woman. I believe in appearance is everything. And I said to myself, if I'm going to be real on YouTube, I'm going to be real on YouTube, not phony. I'm over here running my mouth. I passed the coffee shop. So what we're going to do is go get me a coffee shop. He finally caught, for, he caught up with me. He went to go get him another quesadilla right here. Quesadilla. Baby. Now see how she got me following Baby. Her now I'm following her. Where's the where's the coffee shop that be right here? Coffee shop. Yeah, the coffee shop that be right here. That we get the coffee from in the morning. They closed? I don't think there was a coffee shop right here. Yes there was. It was across from the um oh it's on the next block. We passed right. it because right. it was by the laundromat. Yeah. Right. But look. I want to be honest with you. Just now, I went and told YouTube that I'm missing a tooth. Yeah. And I said, you know what? If okay. I'm going to be real with these niggas, I'm going to be real. This Keep is me. Funky. But you want to see something way. real cool? You want to see something way. real cool? Y'all would have never known if I wouldn't have been honest with it. And I said to myself, well, I'll start this off on the lot. That's yeah. how. That's how. Even though y'all saw in the other video, though, y'all could. She, she but y'all could. Y'all could tell, but y'all couldn't tell. She but you know what? I fucked that case of the up. Uh. So I said, myself, I said to myself, I said to myself, um, I always look 
I'm super um, cool, but always gonna be alright. But you wanna hear something? You wanna see something crazy? I'm really from here. Uh, my eyes are not chinky on there, like like you chinky. Is Bad pen. So what I was gonna say, if anybody have a problem like that temporarily, if you wanna get it fixed, Amazon, baby, Amazon. When I get home. I'm remember to show you guys the link so you guys can see because let me tell you something when you go on a job interview you ain't trying to go in there talking about yeah my name is yes sir my qualifications are they're gonna be looking at you like okay we'll call you when we have an opening yeah. so with that being said again I'm gonna go get my coffee let me show you these Bronx streets early in the morning Store right here. Well, no, um, I'm all messed up in the game. Chad usually go get my coffee in the morning. I'm not even going to lie. This is my first time really going to go make my coffee. Ladies, go find you a man that go make your coffee. But I only like my coffee one way with half and half. Watch this. Bam. Wait a second. Good morning, sir. Do you have half and half available? Sure. He gonna go get it. Make sure. Thank you very much. Excuse me. No problem, sir. You have a good day. You almost took off my foot. He almost took off my foot. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is how we go ahead and make a regular cup of coffee in the hood. You gonna need one of these right here. You're going to take your milk, you're going to shake it up, down, side up, because it's open, and milk going to be everywhere on you, and you're going to be smelling like a baby's ass all day. <laughs> take your milk, you want to pour about this much in there. That's the secret right there. You pour your milk in there, right? Then you get your sugar. You're going to get your sugar. Bam. Then after oh, that, you can put your sugar first. And then put I'm your... showing them how I make my coffee. Back up. And then this is what you do before you even get your coffee. You mix it in there so you don't have a whole lump. And your co It's cold as hell up in here. As much as they be charging people for chips, they need some heat. Yeah. So you stir it up, right? You got your little mixture in there. Hold, the, ca the, hold the camera, baby, so I can show the um, coffee being Right, so now got my coffee right. I'm gonna put it in the machine. Go down. Okay. Now you see the consistency color of my coffee right here. My husband don't know how to record. See the consistency? If my coffee don't look like my man, I don't want it. So then after that, get you one of these. You always get the second one. The first person could have dug in their nose. Or the third, or the fourth. I get like the fifth. All right, and then here you go. Take that dollar from me, please, sir. And here you go. You got your cup of coffee. Now my day has started. You gonna pay for it? I got the coffee, sir. Sir? I got the coffee, okay? All right. If I would've walked out of here, you wouldn't have said nothing. Yeah. So, got my cup of coffee. The day can start. I can feel awake because technically I know you're like, girl, it's late. It's not late. It's still early to me. We took a day off today so that we can go take care of some business, look at apartments, and try to get up out of the shelter. But no. So what we doing right now, like I said, with Bay. Oh, he worried about that damn quesadilla. So what we gonna do right now is um uh uh this nigga right here was this nigga right here was checking out my man. Worry about your baby and your bumpy stroller. 
baby, you saw that man trying to check you out just now? Check me out? He didn't check me out. Yes, he was. He was all up in your butt with a baby stroller. Hey, yo, no, he was not. All right. We're going to hit you up when we get in the house, guys. 